What's up today, my fellow mass soldiers? So, what I'm going to be showing you guys right now is what you guys should be doing right now. I'm talking about literally right now, this minute, if you possibly can. If not, make some time, especially if you're tuning into this video. Apparently, you're playing Ultimate Team and you want to make sure that you get your free coins, your insane cards that EA is going to be giving you, as well as other stuff, your packs and, and XP and everything else before um this before the season ends right because if you guys come over here i just realized right now i was just playing the game and i'm thinking that we have a lot more time before the season ends but we don't ea did a little bit different which i'm okay with i'm i'm very very happy i hope that they continue to bring very short seasons because i like to end them i like for them to end quick and for us to continue to get our rewards but anyways let me go ahead and show you guys right here um as you guys can see is it showing it right here yes which on the top it says season one and it says archives in seven days and 17 hours so that means that the season is going to be over with in seven days so right now i'm um making the video right now yes i can make it a day before but that's not going to benefit you seven days is is still very short i usually make these videos like four like two weeks uh, ahead of time because it gives you guys enough time to continue to grind but because this season was so short um, yeah, I, I, I just seen it right now and it says seven days. I said, let me go ahead and make sure I get this video out to you guys, because if I don't, I, I want to make sure you guys are informed because if you guys are not informed and you guys just, as it was just passing by us, you might miss out on a lot of the players that EA is giving us. All right. So let me go ahead and, uh, get into it right here and break it down to you guys on, on, so even if you guys are just starting out right now, I want you guys to know that I can't say that you're going to fully max out your your season level if you're just starting out right now but i will tell you this there is tons of xp in the game to where you'll get very close i mean you might be able to max it all out i don't know what i'm trying to say is you'll get at least very close to maxing out so even if you're just starting it's definitely worth it to grind it as fast as you can and get all the xp to get as much more much as much rewards you guys can because you will get tons of rewards if you even if you start grinding grinding right now if you've been grinding you want to make sure you continue to grind which i'm going to show you guys right now the first thing you do remember you guys got seven days so every single day you're going to be getting like a 4500 uh 1500 so what so that's uh four five four five okay uh six seven eight nine so that's 9,000 season XP every single day. Nine times seven is 63. That's 63,000 XP every single week, right? So you got seven days left. That's 63,000 XP that you could be getting from your daily objectives. So make sure that you're getting doing your daily objectives every single day, not only for your season XP to make sure you guys go ahead and get your rewards, but also because they give you a coin quick sell, coin quick sell as well as a strategy card. So I do want to put that in there. Not only are you getting your, your, your XP to max out your season pass or to get as, as far as you can your season pass, but you're getting a coin quick sell and a strategy item, which both of those have coins. They're, they're basically both coin quick sells, and that's another way to make your coins. So I just want to add that in there um, just for those who who either don't know, which I know a lot majority of people do know, or you guys tend to forget about it. All right. So as for now, you guys see week one right here and week two. By the time this video drops, I'm hoping that they have week three, but if they don't, I know it will be dropping the next day. I'm thinking it's Tuesday or Wednesday of the day. The day I'm dropping this video, sh it should be out. But once again, it may not be out the like at the the, the the day I drop this video will probably be out, but it might be not be out at the time that I dropped that video, if that makes sense. So I, I, I can't remember if they did on a Tuesday or Wednesday, but either way, um, you guys got seven days until then so they will release another week which is going to give us tons of season xp okay so but so there will be a so what i'm basically saying is that there will be a week three of the season xp and as you guys can tell look at there's 18,000 here 18,000 here so each one each objective contains um close to 19,000 season xp so let me go ahead and calculate that for you guys so you guys can actually um know how much xp that is we go ahead and put a uh, 18,750 times four. That's 75,000 season XP. So completing all these objectives is going to give you 75,000 season XP. Week one is going to give you 75,000 season XP. So when week three comes, which 
once again, by the time you watch this video, or so, at least for some of you guys, they might have a week three. But if they don't, or if you tune into this video right away, then because I, I dropped my videos early, so so you, it probably won't be up yet. But once again, I don't know if it's Tuesday or Wednesday. But we, regardless of the fact, there will be a week three, and that one's gonna be seventy-five thousand season XP. So that's a lot of XP. So let's go ahead and put seventy-five. You guys probably already did the math, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it here and get your accurate reading. So for those three weeks, you're gonna get 225,000 season XP for completing those weeks out three those three weeks, and that's not including um, this. Oh, this is the XP token. Some people ain't gonna get that, but that's not including. Uh, oh, here we go. These programs right here, and these two programs alone, right? These two program passes, which we'll probably have another one um, by the by the end of the week. These two contain 72,000 XP by themselves. So that's tons of season XP that you guys want to get knocked out. So you guys go ahead and uh, level up your season pass as fast as you can. And go ahead and get those uh, rewards. I don't remember if these other... Does training camp have it? I don't know if these guys, these other ones have season XP. I know sometimes they do drop programs with season XP. But I think this year, they didn't do that. In uh, previous years, they did. Well, the, since they brought out the field pass, which is the last two years, I will say, yeah. So the only the only way you're gonna get season XP is gonna be from the season pass. They do release it still with the programs. However, they have it particularly in the season pass. So these two are for the season uh, season of boom program. So there should be a season of uh, boom part three. So therefore, I'm assuming there's going to be another objective, which is to give us an additional 72,000 season XP, which is going to help us out uh, get tons of um, tons of XP to get our rewards. So let's go ahead and look over some of these rewards, right? All right. Uh, okay, here it is here. So you're going to get a season 180 80 overall BND player. All right. So this is the Christian McCaffrey. They give it to you as soon as you log in. But then you got like Ray Lewis. You got Heinz Ward, you know, and a few other players, right? So what's what's good? The reason why you want to want to grind these out, I mean, our level up is because each level. Can we go? Oh, we can go all the way down here so I can show you guys. Each level is gonna give you guys tickets. So check it out. So this is level two. Check it out. It's 50 tickets. Level three, <coughs> 50 tickets. Level four, 50 tickets. Level five. 50 tickets and as you continue to go on you guys get it here we go here look at 200 tickets another 200 tickets another 200 tickets so therefore what i'm trying to tell you guys is that you don't have to wait until it actually says tickets in order for you guys to get tickets you're going to be getting tickets every single level as you continue to level up so therefore let me go ahead and back out and show you guys exactly what's going on so you guys can see the rewards of you guys leveling leveling up and getting those tickets and using them you're going to be able to fully upgrade um three of these players look at i got heinz ward fully upgraded christian mccaffrey fully upgraded and i also got ray lewis fully upgraded and they all got cowboy kim so they get the cowboy um boost and everything else now check out here there's another good thing though check it out so I still got a few more levels to level it up, right? So that means I'm gonna get more tickets. So I fully maxed out three, um, three of the uh, three of the season players that EA has given me, and I still are, uh, and I'm still gonna be able to get enough tokens, I think, to get the last player, not the last player, I'm sorry, another player up to like about an 83 or an 84, which to me is just a plus on top of that. Yeah, I agree. EA should have gave us enough to where we we should be able to max out all of them. But once again, though, I'm happy with the three. And if we could if we could upgrade one of these other ones, that's cool. And another thing, too, um, what I like about these cards, like, say, for instance, you know what? I don't need I don't need Heinz Ward no more because I I ended up pulling or got some good, uh, better receivers. So what I what I could do is I could take off the tokens from him. And then say, for instance, I need a left left end, which I do. I can add the tokens onto Max Crosby. So that's one thing I do like about these season players. I can remove the tokens from them and place them on other players in order for me to keep my team balanced, well-rounded, well and be able to compete when I play head-to-head -head and online, which I haven't been playing much lately. But if I do, I have a better chance, you know, of going out there and compete, which I'm very happy about whenever I do. I don't even say happy about, right? Because sometimes it gets a little frustrating. But anyways, make sure you guys get on that and do that. Because if you don't, you're going to miss out on all your coins. 
your free packs, players, and so forth. Or you might even be close to finishing it and be like, oh man, I didn't realize it was in that fast. And then what happens? You end up not not realizing it and you miss out on your season token or whatever it is that you wanted to get. All right. So anyways, drop a like on the video until next time.